There have been some fairly recent changes to option pricing and in option symbol creation. For pricing, most options trade in nickels below $3 and in dimes above 3 bucks. Some have been selected, some hundred, to trade in pennies below 3 bucks and nickels above 3 bucks. And to that, there are about a dozen index ETFs, uh, exchange traded funds, that likewise pennies below 3 and nickels above 3. Uh, to that, the QQQ NASDAQ uh, index uh, ETFs trade in pennies above 3 bucks as well. In January 2010, the symbols for options will change substantially. The underlying security prices, which have three letter codes for major exchanges and four or five for NASDAQ over the counter, those latter having in the old system having to be changed to a three letter code for options will no longer be necessary. So the underlying symbol will be now used regardless. And to that, the uh, notation for in the past was first 12 letters of the alphabet for January through December calls, and the next 12 letters for puts ceases entirely. Instead, you'll have the expiration described in industry notation with the first two numbers of the year, month, and then date. For Schwab, they'll be using month then the date, and then four numbers for the year for expirations. That's followed by a C or a P in the case of the industry for puts and calls, and then three numbers for the dollar of the strike, and then three numbers for the cents or tenth of a cent for the strike. With Schwab, the uh, expiration is followed by two numbers for the dollar amount, a period, and then two numbers for the cents, followed by the C or P for whether it's a put or a call. Keeping you up to date with Dr. C.